Athletic. Hey Nick, just with the way you've been playing lately, you're not, you know, gotten a groove after a long layoff. Are, are you a little bummed the All Star break comes right now, just given the given the way you're playing lately? No, it's fine. My body was starting to adjust, but it's it is what it is. And when we when we have Boston, when we play Boston, I'll be I'll be good. Um, I find be able to find that flow easily. I'm not I'm not too worried about that. Everything happens for a reason. Christian Winfield with the New York Daily News. Hey, Nick. Uh, Steve said in terms of, he said basically no one's worried about your talent at this point. It's just since you were off for basically a year that everyone's just wanting you to get your conditioning right to be able to play longer minutes. I think you only played 16 tonight. So given that the All-Star break is coming up, is there anything that you can do off the court to kind of simulate game time, you know, conditioning that you would get? Or is it only something that you can do by being on the floor and playing actual games? Yeah, well, this year is, is tough. It's kind of different, probably, you know, from all the past years and the All-Star break. But, you know, I, I just got to be smart. I want to uh, make sure that I'm staying, staying active but not doing too much. And the performance team, they, they have a plan that they put together. And honestly, as far as tonight goes, I, this is definitely the best, I, best that I felt condition-wise. I feel like I could have played a – definitely played a few more minutes. So, you know, that's good. And when the break – when we get back from the break, I look forward to, you know, continuing that condition and getting back back into the, our good rhythm. Brian Lewis with the New York Post. Hey, Nick. Uh, are you currently on a, a minutes limit? And if so, I mean, has it increased? And if it hasn't increased, are you looking forward to having it increase? I'm honestly not sure. I just go out there whenever they call my name and I'm ready. I'm making sure that I'm staying active on the sideline. So I'm not sure if I'm on the minutes restriction, but minutes restriction, but I do look forward to playing more minutes in the near future if that's what the team needs me to do. Back to Alex Schiffer with The Athletic. Hey, Nick, I remember last year as a rookie, you said that the previous coaching staff was working on your jump shot with you and some of the mechanics behind it. I'm just curious if that's still been the case with Steve and if your labrum injury maybe had to adjust the way that they were going about that. Yeah, I've, I've still been working on my shot, but honestly, the way the game, the way that we're playing and the way that I'm playing this year, it's like I don't really need to shoot the ball like that. I'm, I'm finding spots. I'm getting to the cup, putting pressure on the rim, and that's what the team needs. So I'm not, I'm not worrying about you know shooting the ball. Whenever, if that time comes, then I'll be ready to shoot and knock down shots. But I'm just, just taking what the the defense gives me and doing what the team needs me to do. Back to Christian Winfield with the Daily News. Uh, Nick, I mean, when you have 17 points in one game and then you follow that game up with 16 points and eight rebounds, does it does it feel like a, a breakout stretch or are you just so focused and putting one foot in front of the other that you can't even get into that type of mindset? It definitely doesn't feel like a breakout stretch. I'm just staying present. That's something that I've worked on throughout my rehab, taking everything day by day, whether it's having a good game. You know, you learn from it, watch film when it, put it in the past. If it's a bad game, you do the same thing. So I definitely wouldn't say it's a breakout stretch. I'm just trying to continue to learn how to play with the guys out there and continue to grow and the sky's the limit. Matt Brooks with Nets Daily. Hey, Nick. Uh, just, you know, playing with this team, watching them, where's the biggest area for you where you really feel like you can make a big difference for the team on the court? Uh, is there a spot where you really think you're going to make that difference in the second half? I would say defensive versatility, being able to guard one through five and not needing much help. And offensively, just continuing to sharpen my tools. And like I said before, just taking what the defense gives me, especially if they want to trap any of the guys. That's the short roll. Once I said that pick, just making those reads, that's, that's easy money. So just, just being a, just being a basketball player and being able to do whatever the team needs. Last question, back to Christian Winfield with the Daily News. And hey Nick, how are you going to spend the, the All-Star break? And, and what are some things that you do off the court that aren't basketball related to kind of pass the time? I'm, I'm going to go back home to South Carolina and just chill out with my family and kind of unload. It's always good to be able to go back to where it all started. It kind of helps put everything into perspective. And in my free time, I usually just talk to family, play the game, just 
eat good. I like to eat good food, hire the chef. So that's been good for me. And I look forward to just going home and being with my family. It's, it's much needed for everybody, for all the guys, and just the whole staff. Got it. Thank you much, Nick. We appreciate it. Thanks, Nick.